That's a substantial amount of water. Oh, yeah. it's much less than maybe they no. used to be. What's on your knee? That's terrible. Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to install Jeppo Pilot's mechanical access port riser. Let's get started. Okay, so lifting up the back hatch gives us access to the mechanical access ports. These are the two clean up plugs for the jet pumps. There's a starboard side and the port side. The problem here is that we're trying to fix an issue with standing water. Hey -oh. Water will eventually come up through these plugs and fill up this whole area, and you have water also coming in from the back here. This usually happens with a hard stop and water will splash right up from the swim platform. In ideal conditions, you'll have water exiting through this drain here, but it can't do it fast enough and the standing water will make its way into this hatch. Whee! For some reason, Yamaha decided to make this flush with the base plate here, but Jeppo Pilot has a solution. Hooray! They have made a CNC cut polyboard riser to lift this about three quarters of an inch above the plate. You can see my first attempt at fixing this leaky problem here. I replaced the worn rubber gasket with window sealing putty. It actually worked quite well, but it started to compress and unfortunately started to leak over time. So the good news is that with this port riser installed, you'll retain all the functionality of having access to the area underneath. Hooray! It is important that water does not go down here, especially salt water. Salt water will corrode everything that's down here, even though it's stainless steel. Mm. You don't want that corrosive water splashing and sitting around. So let's go ahead and put this in. Go ahead and grab your screw gun or a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the 10 screws off this top plate. Now grab the plate and lift it up and straight out. It will be secured with some silicone. Try to grab and take off as much of the loose silicone as you can by hand. Once the bulk of it is off, take a razor blade and at a very shallow angle, try to scrape up as much as you can. Don't go in too steep or you'll start grabbing the plastic with the blade and making notches. After all the silicone is off, take a paper towel and dry rub it down just to clear off any dirt and debris. Go ahead and take your 11 64th drill bit and widen the screw holes. Another quick wipe to take off the dirt and debris. Take a little bit of acetone or alcohol to clean up the leftover residue. Be careful with this plastic plate. Acetone will soften and melt it if you use too much of it, so use it carefully or use alcohol instead. Use a little bit of acetone on the riser just to clean up any manufacturing oils. Leaving nothing to chance, put a very thin bead of silicone and spread it with a gloved finger to thin it out. Carefully align the riser and add a little more silicone spread it with a gloved finger and then put the hatch plate on top of it. I really don't want this to leak. Let's start putting in the screws. The first one is always the hardest and you may have to slightly lift up the riser in order to align it with the hole. The next screw should be the one directly opposite the first. Now just put the rest in. Take a 3 32nd inch allen key or hex bit to help push or twist the screws in. If there is a stubborn screw that won't go through a hole like this one here, just take your drill bit and drill it again. Take each nut and start them by hand, being careful not to drop them down into the area below. Once you've got them all on, take your 11 32nd wrench to hold the nut and tighten the screws. You can use a drill gun here, but set the chuck really low because you can easily over tighten them. Once they are snug, finish it off by hand. Okay, you're almost done. The last step is to put a nice thick bead of silicone around the outside edge of the riser. Yay! All right, let's see how we did. 
Nice, that is much less water than before. Well, I'm glad that's finally fixed. That'll finish up the riser install video. If you guys like stuff like this, I want you to check out my friend Captain Leon from Captain Leon's Boating and More. I'll leave a link up here and at the end of the video, he's got a whole bunch of stuff over there about your Yamaha jet boat and you can learn a lot of information. But if you guys like this, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you wanna see and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone and I'll see you all on the water.